You guys asked for more? Well, I listen. I'm back and I'm gonna be testing myself in more games. I'm gonna be giving you guys the best insight to what fields are the best. To what games are the best for you guys to be going around to test yourself? Quality stuff. I know last time we matched up three different games in one video, but I don't wanna keep you guys waiting. You guys are trusting the channel. You guys are investing time into the channel. I don't wanna keep you guys waiting. I wanna be able to pump out more and more content for you guys. So I'm gonna be treating each game as its own video. That way I can give you guys more insight into the games and you guys get more content regularly. I'll put in the time, I'll put in the effort, I'll put in the work. All you gotta do is put in the subscriber. Wait a minute. Well, you are the subscriber. You know what I mean, you get the point. All I'm asking is for you guys to subscribe. I'm gonna be putting myself in the middle of different games. One game after the other. I appreciate the support on the first video. I wanna be pumping out video for you guys consistently. Remember, we're trying to build a community here. This is all of our channel. Starting off with a game full of skill, highlights, and heat attentions. We kick things off at Whitset Soccer Complex in the city of North Hollywood, which is a complex composed of several fields that are used every day of the week for team practices, organized league games, and pickup games. And also, huge shout out to anybody who used to play here when the complex used to look like this. Competition doesn't look too fierce today. Come on. Well, it turns out we were on the wrong field, as there are literally seven different fields in this complex. So we kept walking until we found our actual field. As you can see, these are actually very active fields. These are public fields, open for anybody to come in, but we do have a lot of teams that are practicing. They do go by permits sometimes, so the teams that have permits are the ones that have permission to be on the field. This game, I actually found through the Pezzo app as well. I know I've spoken a lot about them in the comments as well. Hopefully, they're willing to give me a sponsorship. Our game starts in about five minutes. Let's see how today's game goes. And before we get into the game at Witset, be sure to follow me on Instagram if you want to see what other games I'm going to be reviewing and where I'm going to be filming next. Yeah. You guys want to be celebrating with me? You guys want to see more of that? Come out to play. Now back to the game. As per usual, we're late to the gathering. We're late to the beginning of the game. I think they're sorting out teams. Let's see where we get from. They told me to bring a white shirt and a black shirt. I only brought a white t-shirt, but I'm hoping we get to play darks today because it's f***ing cold. It's f***ing cold and I don't want to take this off. Yeah, there's a bunch of parents and like, families though. And I'm over here mid-strip. And before we hopped into the game, of course I had to go urinate because I have the smallest bladder in the world. And when I came back and jumped into the game, I literally got megged the moment I jumped in. Literally megged on the very first play. But was that an indication as how the game was going to go? Let me also mention that the field was actually very slippery that day, so it was really hard to get your footing at times. But a lot of times it was genuinely just us making mistakes and losing the ball. But the field didn't help. I'm just saying. But there was a good level of talent on the field. Right away we can tell that there was some good quality on the field for today's game. In fact, enough quality for the team with the light shirts to score the first goal of the game on us. But in that moment, something inside me lit up and I knew that I had to focus and really get myself into the game. And right after that, I literally got megged again. But after that, I literally got the ball tangled between my legs and lost the ball again. But after that, we were able to finally build the play, a lovely give and go with my teammate, and I was able to help my team tie the game. And although it was hard to play the ball on the ground at times, my team was solid in the air. I'm pretty sure some of my teammates went home concussed that day because nothing was getting by us in the air. Except for this little scare here. But not to worry, I clearly had it covered. Also, why did nobody ever tell me that wearing white socks with white cleats makes it look like I'm literally wearing the same boots as Pearl from Spongebob? Oh, Dad, you're embarrassing me. Anyway, something that I really liked is that every couple of minutes, you'll hear somebody yell, which means that everybody takes turns being goalie. So everybody at some point has to be goalie, whether you're good or not. And that includes me. So keep watching if you want to see how well I do as goalie. But who needs a goalie when you literally have the other team blocking each other's shots on the line? Look at that, ball was literally about to go in and this guy just blocks it on the line for us. His teammate can't believe it. This guy can't believe he was betrayed like that. My teammate's loving it. He's trying to high five the guy on the other team. 
But clearly the other team did have us under pressure and it was hard for us to play out. And they applied enough pressure that they eventually did score the second goal on us. Something unrelated to the game but that I found pretty cool is that you constantly have airplanes flying over your head because this complex is very close to an airport and this field is directly under the landing route that these planes take. Anyway, back to the game where my team was still down by one goal. So we continued building plays to try to get that tying goal. And we tried and tried and tried and tried, but it just wasn't happening for us. In that mid -game interview, bro. How are you liking it so far? Oh, sh oh sh <laughs> you me bro, you gotta get your head in the game, dog. Keep the camera on me, bro. Cool. And you guys know me, I'm a man of my word. Manches. To be fair, the goalie should have really gotten that. But like I said, everyone here is just taking turns being a goalie. No one's a real goalie, so we're not going to be too harsh on anybody. If you've ever played soccer with me anywhere, then you've probably heard people say... And that's because everywhere I play, literally everybody and their mom tells me that I look like... Alexis Sanchez. Alexis Sanchez? You don't mind me calling you Alexis, right? And to be honest with you guys, I don't see it. But I'll let you guys be the judge. Also, when you're playing pickup, it's okay to try things out, you know, have your fun while you're playing the game. But overall, just be sure to pass the ball. Nobody wants to play with somebody who doesn't pass the ball. So have your fun, but above all, just be sure to get others involved. And overall, it was a very clean game. Nobody was going in too hard on anybody. We didn't have too many coming together. We'll get to that. But overall, clean game. We didn't have too many issues up to that point. The biggest issue was that the light team scored another goal on us, which I feel like I could have defended a lot better. And quickly, I recognized that it was my fault. I'm gonna be the next one. When they yell switch, I'm gonna be going. How many goals you got? Two. I don't know. Well, that's irrelevant because spoiler alert: I did not score any more goals. And in fact, after the other team scored two more goals on my team, it was finally time for me to be goalie and keep the goals safe for my team. The ball's over there, bro. The ball's way down there. What are you doing? I had it covered, bro. You guys know me, I'm always up to the challenge, but I wanted them to test me so bad, but they just weren't testing me. We had a couple of scares, but they just hadn't called me into action. Until finally, I was put to the test. Nice save. Like I said, I'm up for the challenge. I did get a little too carried away after that save though. And on what I thought was the last play of the game, I actually ran up the field to try to help my team score one final goal. I quickly realized it wasn't the last play of the game, and I was just making a fool out of myself. Wait, if he's there, who's here? Huh? What were you doing all the way down there? I thought it was the last play, but I guess we're still going. <laughs> now I just look like a dig. And that's actually when we had our first coming together of the game. Ooh, 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 ooh. They were quickly able to separate him, which meant that we could continue playing for a couple minutes more. Until we had our second altercation. There goes the peacemaker. He's just trying to bring the peace. And while we were separating them, they quickly played the ball, which meant I had to run my ass back so I didn't cost my team a goal for trying to be the peacemaker. I keep trying to be the peacemaker, but the, that, peace, that's the peace ensues. We do, however, have a little bit of insight as to what happened. For all you nosy people that want to know what happened, stick around. I got the scoop. Oh, and as to the game, if you want to know how the game ended, I got scored on once again on the very last play of the game. But that's irrelevant. Can't get him all, bro. What was the score? We'll have to watch it back. I think we lost 6-3. No, well, I, I wasn't able to get any, any every part of their goals. And then we lost 4-3. <laughs> Nail-biter. Nail-biter, bro. Nail-biter. Honestly, aside from our little altercations, I was pleasantly surprised by the vibe. It seemed like everybody was out here just trying to play, just trying to have fun. It was a very good atmosphere. If you're looking for a good place to come play, a place with a friendly vibe, this is definitely one that I recommend. Very pleasantly surprised by everybody's friendliness. As you can tell by everybody shaking hands at the end of the game. <laughs> we're getting kicked out the field. But don't just hear it from me. Let's get a second opinion. I guess we're here with Javi. Javi, nice to meet you. How long you been coming here, man? Dude, it's my, my fourth day. I just found out from one of the homies at the place. Bro, you were saying nah, that? bro. Yeah, no, I just wanted to ball out, see how good. Like, do you play anywhere else? Like, do you play? Nah, man. I just, I only play here. Santa Monica is always packed, so. What do you think of the competition today? I fell off, but that's how I know they're good. I try to shake it off, but 
Dude, it just got to me. That's the whole point, right? That's like the field is slippery as fuck. That too, bro. I don't know if it rained or anything, but... Let's get that on camera, though. We we, we aren't that bad. It's just the field like wasn't Literally, letting anybody dude. play. And let me ask yeah. you this, Javi. What do you hey, think of my hey. performance? Dude, good. He was like the fastest defender. Yeah, I mean, forward, my bad. Javi. I've ever been against, dude. Javi, come in for him. I, I, I'll go right now, bro. I'll go right now. Thank you. Seeing that fucking culture like that came in and out, bro. That's sick. Like, but dude, no, you were fucking balling, dog. Like, I was running so much. I was like, drenched, dude. But what you think of our little altercation here, man? With the bro, that's extra, bro. I mean, why do you come over here and play? Why get mad? You're here for a reason, bro. You get mad. I didn't see how it started, man, but I think we got it on video. So we'll go back and we'll analyze it. Es que primero allá solo salté y me pegó en la espalda, me pegó en la espalda y la neta me volvió. Y en la otra iba pasando y, me y el balón se fue. Y yo me hice para atrás y me hizo así. Entonces fue que yo le grité. La primera nomás vi que cuando caíste, pero no vi que pasó. En la segunda me pegó la patada. Me agarró y por eso fue yo que yo lo jalé. Porque Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The latest, straight from Witset, here in North Hollywood, California. And you know me, nothing but serious journalism. <laughs> really, bro? <laughs> what do you want from me, bro? Cut the camera. I don't know if I can hold the mic and block shots at the same time. Actually, it's on camera too, bro. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go, bro.